What is going on guys? Today Adobe has announced a big update for Lightroom, which I haven't done yet. And it's the August photography update. And it's supposed to mainly be a performance update to allow Lightroom to use GPUs better or at all. In the past, Lightroom has not taken advantage of GPUs. So even if you have a high-end machine with multiple GPUs, Adobe just has not taken advantage of them. It, Lightroom has been a CPU intensive application in the past and hopefully this new update will allow it to finally take advantage of GPUs because GPUs have massive power and it just has not been utilized at all by Lightroom. So I'm going to do a few tests and time it and see how it does. They've added a few other things like being able to export PNGs. They've made some changes with collections and also panoramas and things like that. So let's take a look and dive in into a catalog. The first thing I'm going to do in this catalog is delete all of the previews. So I'm going to select all and go to previews, discard one to one, and also discard smart previews. Okay, the first step will be to render one to one previews. So let's go and do that build one-to-ones and start a stopwatch. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, that took a minute and 48 seconds, a uh, minute and 49, we'll call it. And I'm shooting a Panasonic S1, which is 24 megapixels. We've got 130 images. So yeah, that took a minute and 48 seconds. And now I'm going to build smart previews. So here we go. See how long that takes. Okay, that took 28 seconds, which is pretty quick. The next test that I'm going to do is go into, well, the library module, which I'm in right now, and I'm going to go image to image and see how long it takes to load each image as we go through. So let's do that. I think the library module has been quite fast recently anyways. I'm not seeing any glitches. I could probably go even faster than this. So I'm not assuming we'll see any big updates on the library module, which is fine because it has gotten quite fast in the past, I don't know, not too long. I feel like those of you shooting like a GFX 100 or maybe with the new A7R4, I think that you might see enhancements to these spaces, but we'll have to check on that also. Okay, so a minute and 20 seconds, we'll call it to get through the library. Now I'm going to go into the develop module because this is where most people see the biggest hindrance to workflow is going image to image and using things like brush tool and clone tools and things like that. So let's do the same thing. And the main thing that I'm going to be watching for is when the image fully loads and we can go in and start moving sliders. So watch out for that when I do this one. Okay, develop module, go. You can see the develop module is quite slower than li library module because it's loading all of the edits that we've done. It's definitely gotten faster over the years, but it still could use a good bit of speed because when you can go image to image super fast, it just speeds up the workflow tremendously. Okay, that took three minutes and 17 seconds to load images in the develop module. So not terrible, but the main thing that you can see is if you can go image to image super fast, you can make exposure changes and quick uh, white balance adjustments faster image to image, especially if you can see the way that the image before the last one looked when you make a change. So 
Now let's go in and just look at a couple tools. I have a pano here and this will show a little bit of how uh, some of the tools work. So let's check out the spot removal and just see how that how that does and moving that around if it how it responds. You can see a little bit of lag. It's not terrible, but we'll have to see what that looks like once the update is done. And then another big tool that kind of can cause a little bit of lagging is a gradient. So you can see right there, you can see a little bit of lag and we'll have to see if that changes once the update is done because that's something that a GPU could drastically improve. The next thing we'll do is look at the brush tool. When painting in, I have it just minus one exposure and you can see a lot, a lot of lag. You won't see that as much on a smaller megapixel image, but you can see a big lag going on here. Let me turn that down a little bit just so that you can see that a little bit more. A lot of lag, a lot of lag. If I go to an image like this, you can see it's faster. This is just a 24 megapixel image and you can see it's faster. So. We'll take the pano as kind of the baseline of how that looks. Okay, the last test to do is I'm gonna export all of these images at full quality and time that and see how that does. So select all, export. I've got quality set to 100, no resizing and no sharpening. So let's do this and Okay, that took a minute and 46 seconds to export at full quality. There we go. And I'm gonna delete these. Okay guys, I'm gonna close this up. And, okay, so let's run the update and see what happens. Uh, just to, make a note of this. I'm running two GTX 1070s in SLI. The reason that I haven't gone out and bought any new RTX cards is because of this, because Lightroom does not take advantage of the GPU at all. Uh, Premiere does and Photoshop does, which I don't use Photoshop almost at all. But with Lightroom not taking advantage of the graphics cards, I just haven't had any reason to go out and get any new cards. Now, if this makes a big impact, and if I see a big change, even with two 1070s and SLI, it might give a reason to go out and get a 2070 or a 2080. If we see a big impact in performance, that saves a lot of time, and any little bit of time savings is hugely welcome, especially in the develop module. The library module has been pretty good in the past, but still I'll use Photo Mechanic to colon because it's so fast. If Lightroom got faster with GPU updates, then I don't know, it could give a reason to not use things like Photo Mechanic as much, even though I like it anyways, because then you don't have to go in and import all photos into a catalog anyways. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if the, the library module gets faster. The main thing is the develop module and to see if the brushes and gradients and all of that kind of stuff works faster. Background tasks, I don't care about as much. I can export uh, a thousand image wedding pretty quickly. I used to have to do it, you know, back in the day overnight. Um, but my computer's pretty fast and I can usually up, uh, export a full wedding pretty quickly. So background tasks don't matter to me quite as much. It's the, it's the time in the develop module that is a big deal to me. So we'll come back and take a look once this is all done. Okay, it's all done. Let's open it up and see what happens. This is, uh, let's check out the... Okay, so we have GPU accelerated editing, uh, especially on high resolution 4K displays color labels in collections, export photos in P PNG, library performance improvements. We'll see what that means and better uh, batch merge in HDR and panoramas, which is cool. I don't, I don't do much with HDR. Well, almost at all. So, okay, we got it. 
Let's go look. This is now, oh, 8.4. Okay, first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to select all. I'm going to go into the library module and I'm going to delete now all the previews again. Discard one, one to ones. And we'll also discard um, smart previews. And then what I'm going to check also is if we go into uh, preferences, let's go look at performance. And okay, so we have new options here. Use graphics processor auto, which is cool. If it's buggy, the first thing that I would do with Lightroom, if you have a buggy Lightroom, is go in and turn that off. And then another thing to, to check is make sure that your raw cache is high. Uh, I have mine at 100 gigabytes. I don't think that it uses that ever, but let's go in and purge this also, just so that we have a fresh, a totally fresh look at this catalog. Uh, I don't need video. Okay, good. That's all good. Previews are gone. So the first test that we'll do is let's go in and import, I mean, uh, render one-to-ones and time it. Okay, that took a minute and 48, and before the update was exactly a minute and 48, so that is kind of crazy, actually. So, no change. Let's now go and do smart previews. That's crazy. Okay, before the update, that took 28 seconds. So basically the same again. So that is just kind of wild. Now let's go into the stay in the library module and go image to image and just see, uh, kind of feels snappy. Let's see how this, how long this takes to go image to image. Okay, 48 seconds, so that was actually faster. Before it took a minute and 20. Hmm, it does feel snappy. It doesn't feel as fast as Photo Mechanic. Man, I could have actually gone faster. It's fast, actually. I mean, I don't think I could do that before. It's fast. Okay, let's go to develop and see how that does. Okay, two minutes and 29 seconds. So before it was three minutes and 17 seconds. So that's actually, you know, it didn't, it, it really didn't feel that much faster, but it's actually, that's a good bit faster. So let's go back into that pano and check how the gradient feels. Uh, it's not as laggy. It's not as laggy. It feels better. It does feel better. Well, this could be very cool. Didn't feel that much different, but it is a little bit different. Let's check the brush. It's faster. Faux show. 
definitely faster. Let's try a clone stamp. Spot removal, whatever. Doesn't feel that much better, but who knows, maybe it is better. Let's go into a normal image again and see what that does with the brush tool. Same thing, nice and nice and snappy. So that's good. So let's see, it's fast. I would say it's faster. It's not huge. Again, those of you guys with maybe a D850, maybe a GFX100, it'd be cool to hear a little bit of feedback and see what that does after the update because a 24 megapixel file just isn't a huge test anyways. But man, if you see improvements with stuff like a GFX100, I should test some GFX50S files, which I have. Um, but yeah, this is all Panasonic S1 and it's doing good. So do we have anything else to look at? Oh, an export. So let's do a full export and get it timed. The same thing, we'll do a full quality non-resized export and let's go. Okay, so that took about a minute 51. I wasn't even looking at it. Ah. Minute and 52, I'll say minute 51. So that actually took longer. So that's kind of weird. But again, I don't get too caught up on background tasks. It's so fast anyways that it's not that big of a deal to me. The main thing with me is how everything responds in the develop module. So I do have a graphics update that I'm gonna check and see if that makes any impact. But anyways, you guys, it's a it's a performance update for sure. Again, I'd love to hear back from some of you guys with with high megapixel cameras like the D850, A7R4, and um, uh, like GFX100, GFX50. And I will also update you guys if anything happens after that update. So yeah, it's it's an up it's a performance update for sure. You know what? The last thing I'm gonna check if. Um, before and after. A big thing that I've had is before and afters. Sometimes it just flickers a lot and it's better. It's still not great, but it's not bad. So anyways, you guys, that's it. And let me know what you think. And those of you guys that go and update, let me, let me know what you think with what's happened to your systems. If you have a little bit of a beefier GPU, let me know. I'm running Windows, so those of you um, on a Mac also let me know how that looks. So that's it, you guys. Talk next time.